It is a welterweight matchup between Jorge Masvidal and Nate Diaz. Well, enjoy him while he's here, folks, because you never know if this will be the last time we see Nate Diaz in the UFC with a fan base really as big as any fighter in the sport. Diaz is back tonight, and we're glad to see him. Stop, stand up. <laughs> this guy has a cult following. He is one of the most interesting guys in the UFC because he has this sense that he really doesn't care to be here, but he also doesn't feel as comfortable anywhere but in the octagon. So it's a lovely relationship with fighting for Nate Diaz. He's happy. He's best. He's fighting in the UFC. A guy that boxes. Unbelievable, but I think it's the attitude of Nate Diaz that has made him into one of the biggest stars that we've ever seen in the opera. He had a couple of life-changing paydays against Conor McGregor, the win at UFC 196, the majority decision loss at UFC 202. But to this day, he says he won, right? He thinks he won that <laughs> fight. But one thing goes without saying, and I'll say it anyway, when Nate Diaz fights, the world is watching, and that is the case yet again here tonight. All right, here he is, Jorge Gamebred Masvidal, longtime representative of American Top Team. You know how happy it would make Dan Lambert if Masvidal could finally break through and win a UFC championship. He's as close to that level as he's been in his UFC career. As he's ever been. He's finally on the cusp of earning what so many people have hoped for for him. But that doesn't happen by accident. The reason he's this close now is because of the commitment that he has made to mixed martial arts. Commitment that he has made to evolving his game, going up to 170 pounds, and also using everything that he has in order to get to where he wants to be. Before, there might have been distractions. Now, Jorge Masvidal is solely focused on becoming a UFC champion. Left his family to go compete in a reality show outside of the United and States. Gave him, a, yeah, <laughs> one, it gave him a lot of focus and direction, and he has put all of that to good use here in the UFC. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 12 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California. Ladies and gentlemen, he is an Ultimate Fighter season winner, Nate Diaz. And now introducing his opponent, fighting corner this man is a boxer holding a professional record of 35 wins 14 losses he stands five feet 11 inches tall weighing in at 170 pounds fighting out of miami florida jorge game bread all right great thing to lose in the locker room i want you to obey my commands at all times protect yourself at all times on a nice clean safe fight touch gloves come back to your corners come out fighting are you ready So here we go with round one, and when you are facing a submission specialist like this as a striker, you have got to avoid the canvas, I would think, at all costs. Yes, you have to. And if the striker gets taken down, he needs to make sure the only thought is to get back to his feet. Whether the submissionist goes to his back or is on top, you've got to make plan number one, getting back standing and getting back to your space. If not, you're going to find yourself tapping and really wondering why, why did I not engage him in this game? Look at you dropping a submission this time. Ah, it's crazy. 
All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. 30 total strikes have now landed for Jorge Masvidal. Nice. Oh, he's feeling it now. Nice combination there by Jorge Game Bread Masvidal. Well, he continues to do a nice job here. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. Oh, yeah! Good right here. Oh, nice right hand. He has his lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, do you believe that another head kick lands? Got to start raising that guard or this is going to be the end of the fight. You got to start raising the guard and guiding that head kick down back towards your feet. You cannot take it clean and you cannot take it with one arm. Oh, a huge block there. Back and forth we go here. Oh, wow. News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Every time these guys come together, they you just hear the punches and everything landed. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Oh, landed that kick to the leg. Nice kick with the right hand. Oh. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He might be out. Oh! And they separate. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Push on the elbow. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nice punch by Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. All right, DC, here we go with the start of our hey, second round. Jorge yeah. Gamebred Masvidal versus Nate Diaz. That's a big strike right there. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! Yeah, he's mixing it all up. It's messed up really bad. That one landed clean. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, that's a big right hand there from Game Bread. Boxing fundamentals, certainly not an issue for this guy. Very tight. He's as sound as they come, right? A lot of times you see a guy that comes from a street fighting background, and they wing everything. They try to knock everyone out with every strike. Masvidal does not do that. He takes his time, finds and picks his spots. That's why he's getting the finishes that he gets now. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Diaz. Big punch from the clinch. Real nice body kick lands. Oh, a combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. Man. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent. First very bad. Lands. Oh, he might be out. So the number's unofficial, but strong. 101 total strikes have found. That one appeared to stun him. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh! He got him. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. 
right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo. Oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Oh, beautiful jab from Nate Diaz. If he gets that weapon going early, could be trouble. Yeah, he starts punching you with the jab over and over again, and then when he starts to let that right hand fly, you start to see real big reactions from his oh! opponent. Beautiful combination, he knocks him down. Oh, he might be in trouble. Punch his block. Now he's gonna try to attack Kimura here. The Kimura is not the arm, it's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. So there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. Well, this is crazy that this fight is still going on. An appreciative ready? crowd obviously getting fight behind fight. both fighters. Both guys just brawling like crazy in that previous fight. They both came with an idea that they were collecting 50000 extra dollars. And right now, I am certain that they're both going to receive that check. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. All right, so the strike lands, but my, my children hit hard. <laughs> yeah, at this point, early in the fight, you saw his opponent's head snapping back. You can see the effect of what he was taking. Now he may as well just be smacking him on the arm. Oh, he's hurt. He's got him hurt here. Right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rigliotta has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 21 seconds of the third round. Including the winner by knockout, Nate So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.